What are the three different ways to buy and sell a home at the same time? We'll cover that today on Freaking Last Friday. What is going on, party person? We used to say party people, but the reality is you're probably just sitting by yourself watching this, right? I mean, we know you got friends, but like, you know, let's let's call it like it is. You're probably by yourself. So anyway, hey, in this video, what I wanna break down for you, yes, you, you specifically, them also, but specifically you right now, is what are the three different ways that you can buy and sell a home at the same time? We're gonna go through all three. We're gonna give you pros and cons. Let's jump into it. So. First and foremost, the first strategy, now this strategy is not really working in the market that we're in because we're in such a seller's market at the time of this recording, March of 2024, is to buy first using a contingent offer or what we call a first right of refusal offer and then selling afterwards. So what that looks like is you as a prospective buyer, go out, you identify a property, you go to the seller and you say, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, I'd like to buy your property, but it is contingent upon me selling my home. Oh, by the way, my home is not yet under contract and oh, by the way, if I don't sell my home, I can't purchase your home. Now, not to say you absolutely 100% can't make this work. Like, yes, these deals are happening, but you are looking for the needle in the haystack. You are looking for the seller that is willing to consider that. And typically what we find is the only sellers that are willing to consider that are ones that are grossly overpriced or they have a house that is maybe in not as great a shape, or maybe they're just like, they love you and it's a family member and they're willing to consider it. But by and large, most sellers are not really willing to consider that because they are taking a huge risk risk that you're going to be able to sell your property. And the simple fact is there are too many non-contingent buyers out there for a seller to really consider that, at least in today's market, right? But the pros of that, if you could work it out, is you never own two homes at once. Like if your home doesn't sell, you're not on the hook to buy that one. You don't buy that one until you sell this one and you know where you're gonna land before you end up jumping. The cons there is typically with a first right of refusal offer, even if that seller accepts your offer, until your home goes under contract and you're able to remove that contingency, they get to keep marketing their property. And if somebody comes along that doesn't need that contingency, they can sell their property to them and, and give you the boot. The other down outside of that is simply most sellers are not really willing to consider that strategy in today's market. Secondly is buying first and then selling. Now, this is going to be the most convenient strategy for you as the current homeowner prospective buyer that's looking to level up, level down, buy another home. It's going to be the most expensive strategy, but it's also going to be the most convenient strategy. So what that looks like is that either you have the cash to buy the second home without the sale of the first one, or we're able to get you in touch with a mortgage lender and they can get you qualified to buy the second home before the first one gets sold. And then you're able to go out, shop for your next home, go to that seller and say, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, we'd like to buy your home. We own this other home over here, but our purchase is not contingent upon the sale of their home. Therefore, you guys don't need to worry about us being able to get our home sold. Now, the pro of this is you know where you're going before you put your home on the market, right? You know where you're landing before you jump. It's also the most convenient. You could potentially close on that property, move into that property, and then not put your home on the market for sale until you've already moved out. One of the biggest pains in the neck of selling is having to accommodate showings and stage the home and all that. And if you're able to move out of your property before you even put it on the market, you know, it just makes it easier because then we as the real estate agent can just show the house 24 seven and we're not getting in your hair. The con of this strategy is obviously it's the most expensive. You've got to financially be able to qualify for two homes at once. Not everybody can do that. Just may not be in the cards for you. You're also going to have a little bit of risk because you're going to own two homes at one time. For some people, that's very stressful. I would say in the market that we're in right now, I'm not as concerned about that for most of our clients because we're in a market where homes are selling very quickly and, and you know selling at good prices. So unless you've got just a very abstract home or you want to grossly overprice it, the risk of you not being able to sell that second home is not as great of a risk. And then last but not least is selling first and then buying afterwards. In my opinion, this is probably the most stressful way to do it. But for a lot of folks, this is the only option they have. So if we get you in touch with that mortgage lender and they say, hey, I'm sorry, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowners would be buyers. You guys are not able to qualify for two homes at once. Or if you just say, hey, Chris, I, we don't really want to do that. Like, you know, we don't want to own two homes at once. We don't want to have that stress. We don't want to stretch ourselves too thin financially. Then the only option we're left with is we're going to get your home under the market, get it under contract. Once you're able to get your property under contract, then you can go out and be in a position to shop for the next home. Keep in mind, you're still not going to be as strong as a completely non-contingent buyer. But once you have your home under contract, you're then more appealing to a seller because the seller can say, okay, I'm going to accept your offer because it is only contingent upon you guys 
successfully closing, but you already got a deal worked out, right? Now the pro of this strategy, financially, if it's the only way to swing it, it's the only way you got. The other pro of this strategy is you never own two homes at once and you never have that financial stress. The downside of the strategy is that you do put yourself on a timetable to be able to find your next home. So some of the options that we've gone through with clients is that we will work out a long closing. So instead of the traditional 30 day closing, if the buyer of your home is willing to do it, we'll work out a you know, 30, 60, 90 day closing. The second strategy is to work in a rent back. Uh, that's my favorite strategy. Typically we say, hey, we're gonna close in 30, 45 days, but then we as the home sellers are gonna rent the property back from the buyer for 30 to 60 days. So instead of having then a 30 to 45 day contract period, you potentially have time from when you accept their offer to when you actually have to move out of the property. And then the third strategy that I've had some clients do in this market, just with inventory being so tight, is to say, hey, you know what, Chris, we're just gonna go ahead and get our property sold. We're gonna let the money hit our account. We're gonna let the dust settle. We're gonna go rent something for six to 12 months. We're not putting ourselves on such a tight timeline to find the next property. We can shop stress-free. We just wanna, maybe we wanna travel for a little bit. Maybe we just want to take a break we're just going to do that so those are your three options to buy and sell at the same time hopefully i was able to explain that concisely to you yes you not them to you if you have any questions any concerns any thoughts any fears i would encourage you to shoot me a dm throw it in the comments thanks for tuning in i look forward to seeing you next week